right this way is your personal ice skating rink. Guys, what's happening? Andre here, welcome to another video. And today we are in the heart of Lincoln Park in Chicago, and we're about to tour a beautiful brownstone located at 2106 North Sheffield. The property was designed by London Waldron Tier Design and Rehab by Peerless Development. It has five bedrooms, four bathrooms, one half bath, listed for $2.5 million. And I'd like to say thank you to the listing agent, John O'Neill, for letting me tour it. Let's go see it. Guys, I love the facade of this home. Of course, it features the original brown brick that looks beautiful and charming. And you have this uh, matte black railing throughout that looks awesome. And then these steps are actually heated, guys. These are oversized limestone steps. And we probably should have turned on the, the radiant heat, right? <laughs> but it does work. Um, and then the front door looks beautiful. It's paneled, it's black, you've got this black hardware. And then the door overhang is really nice as well. Very nice wood element, uh, as well as this beautiful light fixture. Okay, entering the home, you see this beautiful floor, and this is a European white oak floor. It brightens up the home and it looks really cool. And one of the things you also notice is the trim package in the entire home. So these are three tier custom window casings. And I have to show you this light fixture real quick. Check this out. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like an icicle. Looks really cool. And then right this way is your cold closet. And one of the things I like that the design team did is uh, they ended up painting most of the doors in a darker color just to pop them out, make it look cool. Here to your left is the powder room. Love this powder room. It's, uh, it feels moody. All the walls are in like a rich uh, shade of green with these panels here. So it looks really cool. The wall hung marble sink looks cool with the uh, champagne gold faucet. And of course you have this really swanky light fixture. Okay, and here we are in the kitchen. So integrated appliances. Well, I love the height of this fridge because uh, usually it's kind of like elevated and they're like really massive. Here it's actually eye level. And, um, and then right over here, plenty of storage. The wall cabinets are uh, push open and then the base cabinets have these really cool um, matte black handles. Got a microwave here, massive walk-in pantry with a counter and a wine fridge. And then of course, right here is your island. Uh, and I love that it's got its own identity. It's got this uh, waterfall edge on each side and the contrast cabinets. This is like a rich, not espresso, but it's like a rich shade of brown with matte black hardware. You have this really cool uh, marble counter with a marble backsplash. And then of course, they ended up dressing up the hood using the same kind of stone. Love, love the size of that thing. Um, and then right this way is your, it's a really great nook to have breakfast. We just sit over here, have a cup of coffee, um, you know, have a morning meal. And of course, the bench has some storage, which is great. The design team, I think they knocked it out of the park because they, they're known to merge, um, to blend modern interiors with vintage influence. And I think that's exactly what they did in this home. All right, I love this glass railing here and it's got a, a gunmetal base that holds it in place. It's a really nice touch. And as you come down into the sunken living room, you have 13 foot ceilings in this room. And I love the vibe of it. It's got a very cozy uh, feel. And of course, this is your focal wall. And I love the rich brown uh, custom millwork here. The perfect wall to display your uh, you know, family photos, anything that really inspires you. All right, this is probably one of the best features of the house is this entire wall of windows that flood the living room and the kitchen with all this natural light. So as I make my way down, I have to mention that the sconce is really cool. 
It's got a globe, it's got a matte black finish. It looks really modern. And then here you have your mudroom and it's got a nice bench. You can hang your coats here. And guys, right this way is your personal ice skating rink. I didn't bring my skates though. <laughs> How cool is this? Okay, maybe it's not ice skating rink. We are in Chicago, so it is a little cold and it's nice and slippery here. But yeah, this is your backyard basically. Um, it's a really good sized backyard. It's got privacy. And this is the garage that was actually built using reclaimed bricks. Um, and again, everything goes back to the history of the house. You know, this thing was built in 1886. And so even though it's been rehab, they did such a wonderful job of kind of bringing back that, that history of it. Okay, and here's the lower level. So the front of the lower level is currently used as a media room. I think it's a really nice setup. Right this way is your wet bar. So, you know, if you are entertaining, like this is the perfect place to uh, make some drinks, make some popcorn, and you've got these beautiful cabinets. Again, matte finish, look beautiful. Love the stone they selected. It's very dramatic and you've got these, you know, these big white veins. I think it looks really, really cool and adds a lot of character. And then right this way is your, uh, basically your wine rack. And this thing is beautiful. I love how they left like an inch margin on kind of uh, the perimeter of it. And I can't really tell if it's veneer or if it's the real thing. It looks beautiful. Um, really, really nice piece. And by the way, notice how, because of the foundation of the home and the age of the home, as you uh, make your way towards the street, everything gets elevated. So uh, here to my right is one of the two bedrooms on the lower level. Really good sized bedroom, you got a nice closet. And of course you have a window. And then this is the bathroom that services both of the bedrooms on the lower level. Looks very clean, kind of chic. Here you have the larger one of the two bedrooms on the lower level. And guys, the lower level, it actually doesn't feel like a lower level. You know, you get a lot of natural light here and, um, and I think it feels really good. It doesn't feel like a basement. And that's one of the things that fascinates me is when a developer rehabs a home that's built in 1886, how do you make a layout that is as functional as the layout that I'm showing you right now? Like, it's just fascinating how much thought goes into you know, creating it, the architecturals, the design, the functionality. I think it's just, I think it's brilliant what they've done here. All right, welcome to the second level. So at the end of the hall, you have the master. Uh, right before the master is your second bedroom. And then here in the front, you have your third bedroom on the upper level. So really good closet space, nice built-ins. I actually love this little sitting area. And of course you've got nacho light coming in. And, and this is the part of the house that's got that bay window that pops out uh, that you saw on the outside. And then right this way is your bathroom. Love the tile, deep soaking tub. You've got the um, subway uh, tile that's staggered vertically. That looks really cool. And then right this way you have a nice vanity with a honed marble counter and a really, really nice vanity color. And just down the hall is your second bedroom. Good size room, plenty of storage. You have a nice window right here. And guys, this is actually one of my favorite bathrooms in the entire house. Let me show you why. Massive, large format tile on the floor. I think it looks beautiful. And then you've got a nice vanity, natural wood, and right next to it is a huge um, storage. This is probably one of the biggest storages I've seen in a bathroom. And, um, and this is what I'm talking about. The designers have brought this vintage influence into the home, which I think you know, makes me appreciate it so much more. Uh, oversized shower, matte black fixtures, and I love the beveled look. And it's actually an oversized subway tile with matching uh, grout lines. Looks really, really nice. And then look at the slide fixture. I think it looks great. 
Okay, and now we're in the master bedroom, guys. Beautiful, beautiful room, flooded with natural light. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. It practically takes up the entire width of the home. So of course, we've got a, mat, uh, a king size bed here with nightstands. And this just gives you an idea of how wide this room actually is. And I love these custom windows, guys. They're amazing. I mean, look at the size of these windows. Beautiful. You have all this natural light coming out through these windows and just the size of it. It's so like massive and it creates a wow factor. And I think it's not something that you, you find in a typical Chicago home. And then right this way is, again, you have kind of a continuation of the, um, of the millwork that you find on the lower level. You have this beautiful focal wall, totally custom uh, millwork with this beautiful shade of brown and these brass um, handles. And then of course you have a hookup for the TV. Yes, they do, perfect. Everything has been uh, thought through in this home. Here are the walk-in closets. One for him and one for her. It's mind-blowing how they can take a home built in 1886 and design it and rehab it in 2021 and make it this functional. It's really cool. Okay, and here we have master bathroom. Guys, I love this vanity. It has this really nice light wood on the front of it and you have these beautiful white quartz counters with an oversized backsplash. So this backsplash is actually a lot taller than you typically see. And I love the moody walls. So they actually went with, again, it's that kind of a forest green uh, paint that looks beautiful. Heated floors. And then you have the toilet right this way. You have an oversized shower. It's actually a steam shower. And notice the entire thing is on the same level. You have this really nice um, long train along the wall, matte black fixtures. You've got the controller here and then you have a bench where you can just kind of kick back and reflect on your day. And uh, actually one of the things to point out is I believe this, the uh, ceiling is actually sloped. So when you have the steam shower on, the water actually runs down and drips along the wall. Like this is how much thought they put into this home. And here you have an oversized deep soaking tub. Guys, as I always say, not enough homes have soaking tubs. And when you experience one, like you'll never want to live without it. Uh, and then before I leave the bathroom, I have to point out that these light fixtures look really, really cool. I love that they're not off the wall, they're actually off the ceiling, which is very creative. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. I'd love to hear what was your favorite part of the house. Leave a comment. And if you like properties like these, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate your love and support. And with that, I'll catch you on the next video. property we're about to tour is a beautiful rock <laughs> bro this is hilarious it has five bedrooms four bathrooms right. i'm like does it really have four ba bathrooms that's a lot of bathrooms it does you've got this matte black iron railing throughout that looks really cool okay. um okay what the hell okay so <laughs> you've got a uh, what the f